Hello, a warm welcome to everyone. This is Rohit Gautam, a research scholar in the Department of Physics, Tipriga University, Assam, and also the presenter of this poster. Basically, our group is focusing on the changes in atmospheric composition in terms of trace gases, including the greenhouse gases and aerosols over the atmosphere of Northeast India in Eastern Himalayan foothills and possible impact on climate change. As we all know, carbon dioxide absorbs infrared radiation in the atmosphere. Most of the sun's energy that falls on the Earth's surface is in the visible light portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. This is in large part because the Earth's atmosphere is transparent to these wavelengths. With a functioning ozone layer, the higher frequencies like ultraviolet are mostly screened out. A part of the sunlight is reflected back into the space depending on the albedo or reflectivity of the surface. The other part of the sunlight is absorbed by the earth and held as thermal energy. This heat is then re-radiated in the form of longer wavelength infrared radiation. The dominant cases of the atmosphere, nitrogen and oxygen are transparent to this infrared radiation but the greenhouse gases primarily water vapor, carbon dioxide and methane absorb some of the infrared radiation. They collect this heat energy and hold it in the atmosphere, delaying its passage back out to the atmosphere and warms the atmosphere. Due to this warming effect, the global average temperature is about 15 degrees centigrade. Without the greenhouse gases, the global average temperature would be much lesser at around minus 18 degrees centigrade. This heating or warming of the atmosphere by greenhouse gases is known as the dark heating, where the long wave radiation absorbed by the infrared active greenhouse gases is used to raise its vibrational energy state which consequently hits the atmosphere beyond the visible radiation. Let us now have a look at three key drivers of present day climate change. The first one is greenhouse gas. The key greenhouse gas include carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. They warm the earth's surface by lowering the amount of terrestrial radiation that escapes into space. The sources are anthropogenic human cost like open burnings including small scale burning of slashes etc to large scale burnings related to chum cultivation especially over northeast India. Fossil fuel burning, coal burning in power generation as well as brick guns. The second key driver is aerosols which are nothing but tiny particles or droplets floating in the air. Aerosols may be airborne solid particles or liquid droplets like sulfates, nitrates, ammonium, black carbon, dust and H2SO4 droplets. They affect the climate directly by cooling the earth's surface through scattering and absorbing solar radiation and indirectly by acting as cloud condensation nuclei thus boosting cloud formation. In. Aerosols can either cool or warm the atmosphere in presence of scattering like sulfate, nitrate and absorbing like black carbon, dust, brown carbon, 
type of aerosols. The sources are natural as well as anthropogenic. Mineral dust from soil erosion, sea salt and volcanic eruptions are the natural sources. On the other hand, industrial air pollution, transport, biomass burning, dust produced by land degradation processes such as desertification are some of the anthropogenic sources. The third key driver for climate change is land use and land cover popularly abbreviated as LULC like deforestation and expansion of agriculture or pasturage. Deforestation diminishes capacity to act as a carbon dioxide sink and if accompanied by biomass burning are a direct source of greenhouse gases. While expansion of agriculture or pasturage alters the terrestrial albedo contributing to changes in the surface radiative balance. The study area of our research is Northeast India. In general, the atmospheric composition of the region is found to be altered because of a few factors. Some of them are dust advection from the Indian deserts through pastoralis, anthropogenic emissions from Indo-Gangetic plains, marine emissions from Bay of Bengal, and local biogenic emissions from large vegetation cover, including primary and secondary bioaerosols, as well as local anthropogenic emissions like biomass burning, fossil fuel burning, oil and gas fields, etc. In the present study, we have considered primary greenhouse gases, namely CO2, CH4, and ozone for the period 2008 to 2019, and other trace gases like nitrous oxide, nitrogen dioxide, and carbon monoxide, which are also known as indirect greenhouse gases. Our data source was Cairns Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service ADS and CDS datasets for the atmospheric constituents and ERA-5 reanalysis for 2 meter temperature. Now coming to the results that we have observed, we found out that all the greenhouse gases are showing a positive change over time except methane and also nitrous oxide that showed insignificant negative change. On the other hand, the 2 meter temperature also showed a positive change over past few decades implying that the increase in amount of greenhouse gases does have a direct impact on surface temperature of the region. However, model simulations are required to quantify the contribution of each greenhouse gas to rising temperature trends. Moreover, an important observation was that the time series 2 meter mean temperature data revealed a steeper increasing temperature trend with highest increment for the month of September followed by February, the transition months of summer and winter respectively. This explains partially the winters partially the warming winters and extended summer indicative of a climate change in the region thank you for your attention